Hey, what's up everybody? Today, in this video, we're going to put new side uh, boards on the boat and remove the old ones, try to remove the old ones, and do a little maintenance on the trailer. All right, everybody, so every time I load my boat, uh, I got problems. It's, uh, this is the old boards here, and they're, they're bent. It's only like some, I don't know, one and a half by eighth inch angle, or not even angle, just a flat bar. That was holding these side rails on. And uh, they just, they're all bent out, and every time I try to load my boat, I end up on top of them or to the side, and, and I'm just, it's just been a headache. And uh, so last week, it's something I've been needing to get to, but uh, last week this one on this side finally broke off and the board was hanging and dragging. And uh, so I had to do something about it and this is what we got. Uh, I went and got these uh, bunk guide-ons they call from Cabela's. Uh, I really like them. Uh, I like that they're just bolt-on and that they're way higher than what I have. My other board was right here. So let me grab it real quick. <laughs> So the old board I had on here sat way down here and they were bent way out like that, you know. So this is much higher and much uh, more stable too. And the, these are just, they're just beat up and old. I had to take the back step off, which is just a big piece of wood right here, um, uh, to get this on. And I'm going to cut a new board, but this one, I was just going to take it off and notch it, but it was, it was actually starting to, it was actually so rotten that, uh, I just uh, I just broke it off, so I'll have to cut a new board on here to fit. This is what's left of the other the other back piece here, you know. And I don't know if it's welded or bolted. I think it's welded, so I'm gonna have to end up cutting these off. I see they got a U bolt on them, but they're also tack welded underneath. All right, so here's the old old runner, and uh, you can see how low it is on the boat compared to the other one being way up here. And uh, so I just got to try to get these big old lag bolts or whatever these bolts are out of here. Shouldn't be a problem. If I can get this one off without having to cut it all up and chop it all up. All right, so we done moved operations. My nephew, who uh, was the prior owner of this boat, he wanted to come help and work on it. Well, he wanted me to come to his house yeah. and help work on it. And, uh, he got better tools and a nicer place to do it. So. We're going to do it here. We still got to get this board off. Hang on. Uh, it's showing up. All right. Step number one of any project at the house, <laughs> whether it be, you know, changing your oil, changing your tire, painting, cutting grass, you know, 630 in the morning, whatever. Pizza. Got to have Got to have pizza. Pizza, pizza is That's the go-to. Rule number one. For repairs. Oh, yeah. Just has to be that way. All right. You ready to get to it? I'm waiting on you, boss. All right. Let me finish off this pizza. We'll get back at it. You're going to eat all of that? Mm, I might share it with the family. Uh, you right. want a piece? No. All right. Okay. That boy is crazy, y'all. I'm telling you. I don't know what to do with him. All right. So I want to give y'all a little tip about this. Um, this, this kit comes with uh, screws to screw into the back right here. And all the stuff I read about this, um, leading up to me buying this, uh, is that everybody says eventually the screws fall out with, within a short amount of time, actually. So uh, a lot of people on the forums talking about getting these bunk boards were saying that they uh, put bolts through them. And that's what I did. I went to uh, Lowe's and bought some quarter 20 by 2 inch. I would suggest going 2.5 inch to make your life easier and, and get some... Um, I can't think of the name of them, but the, maybe a lag bolt with this. Got the square hex on the bottom of the head, round top lag bolt, so you can sink it into the wood below the carpet so it's not scratching your boat. So that's what I ended up doing. Instead of putting the screws on here, I went ahead and put lock nuts and, um, and the quarter 20 studs. And you can see I barely got them flush on the back side. And that's with, you know, I really, I had to put the bolt through pull the pull the head of the bolt down into the wood just to, to get this to make up so that would be my tip for the day on that instead of using the screws that came with it step number two stop it oh dp 
Yeah, Coldy Pete's. That's my favorite right there. All right, so he has whatever alternative way to remove this. I think it involves a golf cart and a chainsaw. I'm not sure. Like this or this? Well, both of them. Okay. He wanted the golf cart this one, and I think chainsaw that one. I, I used the drill and a screwdriver, but. Not chainsaw, hatchet. Oh, oh God, you can't be making all that rack in here. You're going to bust my tail light. Let's use a what? Channel locks. Or you can just beat it with a hat. Don't hit my light. Oh my God. All right. Gonna scratch the boat up. That one might be in there. I ain't tried to get on that one yet. Hmm. Oh Lord, here These he goes. These brackets are bad, right? Yeah. Man, we gotta cut off. You lifted my boat up. Oh. <laughs> Pull it down now, maybe. No. <laughs> that didn't work. No, it didn't work. You lost all your leverage. <laughs> this boy makes me laugh. I don't know what it is. He's crazy, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> that almost got your toes out of here grinding with bare feet. Yeah, that's not a that's not a small piece either. No. So we got the the brackets for this side. We're gonna go ahead and put them on. Now these do have the um, for a, a four inch tall by I think three inch square tubing. Um, you put the U bolt straight across here, and for tubing I have is three inches tall by two inches wide. You put them across ways on a forty five, and then they have the the overlapping um, U bolts if you uh, put them across on an angle. You... Alright, here we go. Would you me? I, I said, would you? You can bend them, move them around how you need to. Alright, I'm way off me, so go ahead and push it in a little bit. I gotta move way over. Alright, hang on. Alright, y'all. We're about done here. We're wrapping up. Um, it's getting dark on us and uh, it's high in neighborhoods, you can't make much noise. Nah, it'll be all right. Just, anyway, all you get is a letter in the mail. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, only thing we got to do is some adjusting. Uh, on, on this back side, you can pretty much stick your hand back there on the front side, you can't put your finger in there. So, we got to get them lined up, which is really kind of a pain. You got to undo all your bolts and all that stuff and make little changes and then tighten it all back up to see where it comes out. It's actually the opposite on the other side. That side's out a little bit and the back's in a little bit, but it's all good. We're gonna get it worked out. Thank well, thank the nephew here for uh, helping me out. And Well, let's see if anybody got any ideas on, on what the spacing should be on these bunkers. Yeah, because I, I kind of want this to be like almost touching. And uh, and he's saying I need like an inch on each side, but I, I really want them almost touching so when it when you when you put the point of the boat in there it, it, it guides it straight on so y'all give me some ideas of what you think and i'll make some adjustments but we're gonna try it out all right everybody i'm swampland i'm swampland's nephew thanks for watching the video like and subscribe i appreciate all y'all do watching the videos and the comments y'all give give me some feedback on this build here and uh let me know what y'all think about it and we'll try to get something figured out and see how it does on the next few trips yeah hopefully these bunkers help us catch more fish <laughs> they don't, they, they ain't nothing that helps me do that. Thank you guys. Have a good night. See you later.